Our gracious Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and Father God and Holy Spirit, we come to you now in this hour. Lord, you've been expecting and was welcoming us into this presence in this place, and that God, this holy moment is one set before you, where we can truly come before your throne, remember your story of love that's been showered down to us, and once again be reminded that your love carries us. God, as we're here today, Lord, we surrender to your love once again. God, we know there's many trials, many tribulations in this world. But God, we remember Jesus, who while we were yet sinners, came to this earth, lived amongst us, and became flesh and blood. And when the time was right, gave himself up on the cross for us. And then rose again on that third day. And we remember, Lord, how not only he ascended, but also the gift of the Holy Spirit, the birth of your church, what's been carried on to us this day. God, this is the greatest story that is ever told, and we remember it here today and proclaim it in our lives once again. It's the banner that we wave over our hearts, and it's the sign that we point to, to lead us always in our footsteps. As we hear God, we know that the burdens of this world are mighty and many, God, we do pray for those who mourn this day. We especially pray for the Molinas family, that God, in the passing of Jim, may you be with them in their hearts and minds. We pray for all those anywhere also that grieve here today. May they once again feel your spirit and your presence. May you bring to mind their loved ones and just unite them with their loved ones as well to have shared memories. We pray, Lord, for those that or struggling with many other burdens of life, whether it be physical ailments and illness, whether it be through just trials and tribulations. We pray for those who have surgeries that are recovering from surgeries. We pray for those who have ailments that doctors can't diagnose. We pray for those who have been given timelines in their life and have to choose how best to spend these days. For each of these, Lord, may your healing touch be upon them and your spirit and dwell inside them to bring them not only to full health, but, Lord, full, restored relationship with you through that. God, we do pray for those, Lord, who are just struggling in this world, whether it be through finances, whether it be through trying to find food or work with their hands to provide for their families. We pray for those who are just lonely and isolated. We pray for those who are fearful. We pray for those who just are filled with anxiousness and anxiety. We pray for our world, Lord, and the violence that we see in it, whether it's here on U.S. soil, that God has broken our hearts, or whether it's across the world, through people, Lord, who are having to flee from their homes. God, we pray for peace. We pray that you'd make us instruments of peace. We pray for the world's leaders, that you would lead them in ways of peace. Convict hearts where you need to. And Lord, give words to those who would stand against oppression and to have all the right assets in their tool belt, Lord, to help make sure that every single person is given that gift of life and is a treasured possession on this earth. We pray for those refugees that are still fleeing from homes all around the world. We pray for those people, Lord, who 
have lost their home or lost their loved ones, never to see them again. God, we pray for our first responders and our military service of those men and women who put their lives on the line to do good work. May you bring them home safely and protect them on this day that they could be with their family again. God, we pray for your church and the many leaders that represent your church across denominations in the world. Help us, Lord, to continue to listen to your voice, hear your spirit, and to once again build this kingdom together. We do pray for, Lord, for our bishop. We pray for the leaders of the Methodist Church. We pray for our district superintendents. We pray, Lord, for the wisdom of our church leaders. And we pray, Lord, for ourselves as well, that, God, we continue to follow your ways and become more like you each and every day. May be with these prayer requests that come before your altar every Sunday as we faithfully lift them to you. May you be with those who come to receive a special touch. May, Lord, you bless their life and give them the desire of their hearts. That, Lord, you may know, they may know, that is, that you are with them. Finally, God, we pray that prayer that marks us as your followers, and so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.